All right, this is Josh talking from Xenos. I'm here with Matt Ray, a technical evangelist at Opscode, and we're talking about infrastructure automation. So, Matt, could you let's start from the beginning? What is infrastructure automation, and and what are you know why is this needed today? Right. So, infrastructure automation is the idea that you don't need to manage uh, your physical servers anymore. Um, you know, in today uh, today's environments, a lot of uh, infrastructure is being deployed in the cloud or in virtualized environments where you don't actually have a, a physical machine backing your, your server. So uh, what Chef allows you to do is to easily deploy applications into these environments. You know, so something like a multi-node web server with a load balancer and uh, you know, uh, master-slave configuration on the database from the back end, you know, that used to take a long time to configure. You do it by hand. Uh, with tools like Chef, you're going to automate that. You're going to write up uh, a cookbook, is what we call them, uh, describing how your infrastructure is going to work. And the uh, advantage of Chef is that it's going to dynamically combine these pieces together for you. So you're not going to say, server A talks to server B, and server B talks to server C. What's going to happen is when server B loads up and it's a web server, it's going to say, where's the load balancer? insert me into uh, the, the tables for the load balancer. Where's my database? And it's going to use search to dynamically configure itself. That's great. So continuing on this thread, what are the real benefits? Once you start automating your infrastructure, what do you gain by essentially giving up a little bit of control that used to be there from physically doing this all yourself? Well, in today's you know, web infrastructures and you know, other uh, infrastructures, you can't do this by hand anymore. You know, it used to be if you had 10 servers, yeah, you could probably still do that by hand. 100 was pushing it. 1,000 is just unreasonable. And, you know, today we're talking about tens of thousands of servers. You know, that's not something you're going to do by hand. Uh, and, and so that's where, you know, automated infrastructure comes into play. All right. So you mentioned Chef, and I think that's your the name of your product that's helping to do this. Could you talk a little bit more about Chef's approach and the cookbooks and, and how you would actually get started doing something like this? So uh, we've got a number of tutorials, you know, to get you started. Uh, we have examples uh, if you're in doing Rails or uh, a LAMP stack. Uh, if you're doing MySQL, uh, we've got some Java quick starts coming. You know, uh, PHP, Python, uh, those are all uh, coming or are already out. Uh, and there's a lot of documentation in our community as well. We've got a very active uh, community, people extending Chef. Uh, Chef is licensed under the Apache license, so. Uh, we get a lot of external contributors, you know, um, over 200 last time I counted. Uh, people supplying patches or new cookbooks, and then, you know, a lot of our code is developed uh, out on GitHub, and so there are a lot of people forking our cookbook sites, adding new ones, um, you know, just new stuff all the time. That's great. I know one of the examples I recently saw you uh, working on was a, a Xenos cookbook. So, should you talk a little bit about that and the little, uh, I, I guess, the demo that you're working on? Sure, sure. Um, so, the, the Xenos cookbook is uh, something that, uh, uh, obviously, having worked at Xenos, I, I was near and dear to my heart. Um, what the uh, what the Xenos cookbook does is it automatically uh, deploys a Xenos server. You know, not too exciting by itself, but it takes that server. Uh, it applies uh, all the latest patches uh, with Zenpatch. It installs several Zenpacks automatically, uh, depending on uh, what uh, what it, your infrastructure is running. So right now, uh, it installs like MySQL SSH, uh, Apache, uh, Linux SSH, a couple other Zenpacks. Um, it uh, automatically creates users and puts them in the right groups. Um, it uh, takes your devices that are managed by Chef and automatically puts them in the proper device classes. You know, um, rather than use discovery within Xenos, we're going to actually say, this device goes in this device class. You know, and the reason we can do that is because we know that device is a Linux box with SSH, so server Linux SSH, or server SSH Linux. That's where we're going to put it. Um, in addition to putting devices in the right device classes, we set the locations, uh, set them into groups, and then uh, we use uh, the, the uh, chef cookbooks and recipes to, to populate systems. So you get a little bit of, uh, you know, if, if you need to find everything that is running the Apache uh, cookbook, you can go and, and look for that under systems. And you can see, you know, that, that chef flavor bleeding into Xenos. So you kind of get this uh, view of your infrastructure automatically.
Awesome. Thanks, Matt. And we're going to be able to see this demo here shortly. Yeah. The, I, I gave a webinar last week. Uh, we'll be providing a, a cleaned up version of it very soon. And uh, uh, look for that on the Ops Code blog. All right. Uh, we'll definitely link to it. And uh, thanks, Matt. Appreciate your time today. No problem.